Hi gang, my name is Steve Yates, and today I want to show you Pixel Splitter, the bitmap color separator, um, bitmap spot color separator for Corel Draw X3 and X4, and uh, just a couple of bullets um, to start. Pixel Splitter does a handful of things. What uh, it's really known for is color separating bitmaps in Corel Draw um, into spot colors, which has been impossible before Pixel Splitter, unless you go through a ton of hoops and maybe a little acrobat and um, act of congress you can pull it off but uh, now it's automated and all you have to do is push a button or two and you're in business um, it does spot color separates from bitmaps from the real basic to the very detailed index steps um, it'll do an opaque and an editable grayscale under base um, and a highlighter um, it'll Cut JPEGs, uh, Photoshop files, bitmaps created in Corel Draw or any bitmap. In this particular case, I'm going to show you a hybrid of um, bitmaps, or excuse me, a bitmap from the outside and a created bitmap inside Corel Draw. Um, it'll also, you know, print halftones that you can uh, program yourself as far as angle and uh, the size of the dot, the frequency, and you can, it does all this stuff without a rip. And of course, you can do several other things. I'm going to show you those too. The, you can see there's a shadow in the background here, and I'm going to make that separatable. I'm going to do one other thing too. Um, while I've got you here, I've got this blue background here, <clears throat> and uh, I want to do something. I want to use one of these uh, fractal backgrounds, which before, as you know, was impossible to uh, color separate. Um, in the past as far as a spot color and now this is actually a doable thing so I'll go ahead and brag that up too and, and show you that so first demo is about just getting the individual colors into a um, separatable state and so what I'm gonna do if we open this up and select everything we can see that we've got five objects total selected here one is a bitmap of the car that I tuned, and that's actually a program that will be coming out pretty soon for Corel Draw for cartooning bitmaps in Corel Draw. Um, it, it works a lot like TuneUp that I've got for um, Photoshop, but uh, is a little bit different, and it works in Corel Draw, and it's killer. Anyway, I'm going to take this whole image and I'm going to convert it to a whole bitmap. We're going to make it 150 DPI, RGB, no any listing, no transparent background. Hit the button, it's going to turn this image into one big bitmap. Um, to illustrate the one big bitmap, there's the one big bitmap. Okay, enhance with overprints, make sure that's always on. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit, um, I'm going to open up Pixel Splitter. If you go into the Visual Basic uh, menu from the tools, it's in here. I'm going to find it's right there. Steve's Pixel Splitter, Run Pixel Splitter, and away it goes. Now Pixel Splitter is going to go through this motion. It's going to show you this mini web page here, which has got some cool information on it, as well as maybe some teasers in the future. Um, it's going to go through and resize the page to make sure the page is a little bit bigger, literally three inches higher and wider than the image that we're going to be working on. And now we're ready to, to split some pixels. Here is Steve's Pixel Splitter right here. I'm going to move this image over a little bit so you can see what's going on. I'm going to start choosing colors over here. The first thing you want to do is start choosing colors over here. And if you look at the image, we can see right off the bat three colors that uh, we're going to need. We're going to need red, obviously. We're going to need blue, and we're going to need black. And we could probably use, you know, a dark and a light red and a, you know, a gray for sure we could probably you know get in there and a handful of other things but we're gonna do this today in three colors we're gonna do it in like I said the red the blue and the black so let's start selecting colors all you need to do literally is start pushing buttons there's the first button and you'll watch pixel splitter start to manipulate the image in front of us we'll go ahead and use a light blue for this because of that uh, cloud background and now you can see that we're starting to get uh, some color here to this image some splittable color anyway we've got two blacks um, to choose from one is a um, just says black and what that literally is is just that black 
There's no tints of that black at all. It's 100% black. So wherever you could use 100% black, that's where it will fill. The problem with that is we have this shadow in here. And we're, in, we're not going to use a gray to fill it in today. We're only going to use three colors. That's all the customer can afford. So we're going to ixnay that black. And we're going to go over to this one, black with tints. Black with tints is the same thing, but also has uh, tints which go from, I think, 5 to uh, 100%. And, um, and they are in, I think, 20-point uh, increments, something like that. And we'll see, the, see how that works here in a minute. I'll show you the shadow. See how the shadow is banded a little bit like that? That's, those are the increments that I'm talking about. They have, um, I don't know what it is, 20, 40, 60, 80, something like that, um, increments. Anyway, to get rid of this banding, um, I put a dither um, in the program, and that will do a lot of wonders for um, your artwork. And in this particular case, it's, oh, let me see if I can show you, zoom in a little bit. This is not just a um, dithered indexed image, this is actually tinted indexed. And uh, I know that sounds goofy, but that's exactly what this is. There's only three colors here in this separation, but Pixel Splitter goes through and finds the actual tints of the image and um, sets it up that way. And this is actually, this is a three color design right here. And it's a very sellable three color design, um, as is. And what I'm going to do in the next demo is show you how Pixel Splitter actually separates this. And, uh, and I'll show you some of the other features in the future, but right now, this is what I'm going to... I'm going to show you. Thanks a lot. My name is Steve Yates. This is Pixel Splitter Tutorial 1. Uh, thank you very much.